Hello guys, welcome to another session of the ATU library tutorial series. This tutorial is going to cover how you can create your institutional repository account and proceed to submit your project work. Okay, especially the final years. Step one, just take a careful look at this particular link. This is the link that will direct you to the institutional repository or the page, atuspace.atu.edu.gh slash xmlui. You are supposed to enter this in your browser. Now, the moment you enter this, you're gonna see this particular page. That is the page, but you're gonna see this. So this is what you, you see the moment you enter the address as we have over here. You are supposed to create your account. How do you do that? Click on register. Once you click on register, you are supposed to enter your email address over here. Now, take note of this. Students are supposed to enter their institutional email address. Students email address, not your Gmail. That is student institutional email address. You are not supposed to enter your Gmail. I'm going to show you an example of the institutional mail. So this is what we call ATU's institutional mail for students. You are supposed to create your account using this. Now take a careful look at this particular file. You realize that they are in group doing the project work. The first person should be the one to create the IR account. So the first person as shown over here should be the one to create the IR account. We are not expecting that all the group members to create the IR account, no. Only one person will be given that access to submit the file on behalf of the others. So one person, and that person should be the first name on the list. That is what the faculty library web will be using. Good. So I'm going to create an account on the repository using a dummy mail. All right, so I'm going to use this particular mail. Obed ajir at gmail.com. You enter the email address and you click on register. Now, once you click on register, automatically the system sends a special URL and further instructions. That is, that particular student is supposed to log in to the student mail or the institutional mail and proceed to create a profile on the institutional repository or ATU space. Now, let me log in to this particular email address that is obedajir. Now take a careful look at the inbox. So this is what you will see, this space account registration. Let me check the time. Okay, so this is just five minutes ago. What do we did? Oh, okay, this is zero minutes ago. So I initiated this one. Zero minutes ago. So let me click on this. And now you proceed to click on the link. Now, once you click on the link, let me zoom this. Once you click on the link, it brings you over here. Create your profile by following these steps. Basic, simple. You type your first name, your last name, your contacts, your password. So that is my password. Now, enter a password 
Red type to confirm and click on complete registration. Click on complete registration. Now, once you click on complete registration, the system automatically locks you in. So you realize that I am having logout over here. Now, you are supposed to proceed and submit your project work. So that is the next thing we are going to do. All right. Now, to submit your project work, follow these steps. But for now, you can pause the video, create your account. I'm going to come back so that we move on to the next thing. That is submission of your project work. So, I'm logging in to a different session. Okay. So, to submit your project, we are supposed to log in. Good. So, once you log in, you see log out over here. So, you are supposed to log in before you can submit a project work. When you log in, search for thesis slash project work. Click on thesis slash project work. Now search for your department over here. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to use Department of Accountancy and Finance. I'm going to click on the department. Now you search for your supervisor over here. Note. You can only submit the word file of your project work, not PDF. And you can only submit under the supervisor that you have been mapped under by the faculty library rep. If your supervisor is not Dr. Ibrahim Zuberu, for instance, then you cannot submit your project work under him. To submit your project work, search for the supervisor or search for your supervisor and click on his or her name. So my supervisor is Dr. Zuberu. Now, click on the session that you belong to. Is it BTEC or HND? We have BTEC 2024, we have HND 2024. Let's use HND for an example. We are using HND just as an example. So you can also, if you are a BTEC student, then you can click on BTEC. So for demonstration purposes, we clicking on each end. Let me zoom this. Students are supposed to see this, submit a new item to this collection before they can proceed to submit their work. If you don't see this link, it means that you have clicked on a wrong supervisor or you are logged out or you are not doing the right thing. So I proceed to click on submit a new item to this collection. Now we are going to submit this particular project work. So you open your project work. The first field that we are seeing over here is saying we are supposed to enter the author's name. Now, looking at what we have over here, these are the authors, the names of the students. So you are supposed to enter all these four names. How are you going to do that? You copy the first name. So, Alison is the last name. We cut this, we paste, we click add so that we can enter the next name. Ahasan. So we cut this, then we paste. We click on add. Now, the next thing is to enter the title. So we copy this, then we paste. You don't provide any information over here, other titles. Year 24, September, sorry, November, Publisher, nothing. Citation, nothing. Serial, nothing. You don't select anything over here. 
type, you scroll down, you select thesis. Language, you select English. You click on next. You don't provide any information over here. You click on next. At this point, you are supposed to select the file. That is the word file, not PDF. Please take note. Microsoft Word. We click on choose file. We select our file. Then we click on next. This side, you are supposed to review your document. If you have any problem with the names that you provided, you click on correct one of these. If it's a title two, you click on correct one of these so that you go back and correct it. You don't have anything to do over here. If the file uploaded was the wrong one, you click on correct one of these and upload the correct file. If everything is okay, you click on next. Now you scroll down and you are supposed to click on, I grant the license. At this point, it means that the submitter takes full responsibility of the submission. Should in case there is any problem, you can be called. All right. Once you are done or checking this box, you click on complete submission. Once you click on complete submission, you are done. Do not submit another item. You are supposed to wait for the system to either approve or reject your work. Please take note of this. As students, when you submit your work to the repository, do not come to the library for feedback, but rather you are supposed to take feedback from your supervisor. When you submit your work to the IR, it goes to your supervisor. Your supervisor will then look into your work, either approve or reject. Once your supervisor approves your work, it goes to Drift. When Drift approves your work, you will receive a feedback notification in your mail or your institutional mail, indicating that your work has been approved and archived in the repository before you proceed to bind, to bind your work. Also note that the library or the faculty library rep will be the only one to map you. You cannot map yourself under a supervisor. The faculty rep will do that from the library. Thank you very much for watching this particular tutorial on the creating of IR or institutional repository account and submission of your project work. Thank you. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. All the best. Bye.